guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing a pet room tour. I have wanted to film another pet room tour for so long for you guys. I don't think I've filmed one in over a year and there's been lots of changes to the pet room since the last time that you guys saw it. I recently upgraded Koa to a 75 gallon reptile tank and I've moved all of my tanks around. So I'm really excited to film this video for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this pet room tour, feel free to subscribe down below. It really helps me and my animals out. Okay, let's get started. So whenever you open the door, this is what you see. Excuse the ring light. You see two tanks here, and then you see Bodie, and then my hamster set up. And then you come in, and this is just looking straight into the room. This is the first thing you see to the left of the door whenever you first come in my pet room. This is my 30 year old rescue box turtles enclosure. He has a mercury vapor bulb, a 75 gallon reptile tank, which we just upgraded him to. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it for you in the description down below. This is his care board. As you can see, it has all of his information, his daily care routine, his weight, his vet, his age, and everything hanging above his tank. So if anyone were to watch any of my animals, they all have a care board and they will be really easy to care for. Koa's 75 gallon tank is sitting on a white computer desk. We got this desk off of Amazon. I don't remember it being too expensive. We initially got it for our computer, but my husband is using a different desk, so I was able to use this one for Koa. I love this tank so much. If you guys did not see the video of me setting this up, I will have that link down below for you. And there is little Koa eating his food. He's such a good little turtle. You're a good little dinosaur, aren't you? Eat all your worms, Toto. Underneath, we have a three drawer unit that we got from Target. It works really well under there. It just slid right in and it was perfect. So I use that for substrate and bedding storage. Then over here, I just have my travel carrier that I use to take Koa to the vet in. And then I have two jugs of dechlorinated water. Then over here in the corner, I just have Bob's tank, which is a empty 12 by 12 by 18 Exoterra. To the right of Koa, we have Moo and Lemon. First, we'll start with their care Boards. As you can see, I have Moo's information on her diet, her treats, which is pretty much her routine. And then I have all of Lemon's information, her date of birth, her weight, when I adopted her, and her feeding routine. Directly below that, we have Moo's tank. Moo, my dwarf hamster, is in a 40 gallon breeder. On top of her tank, I have lots and lots of food and treats, as you guys can see. It looks basically the same as last time. And then I have some artwork that Hammy Lux sent me. These are two of my favorite pieces of artwork that I have, and I always keep them on top of Moose tank. Then directly below Moose Tank, we have Lemon and my Crickets. The stand that Lemon is on is actually a custom dual stand. It was sold by Aquatic Critter, which is that pet store I recently took you guys to. They used to sell this stand years ago. Someone who worked there actually custom made them. They're wrought iron, they're super strong, and they are dual so you can put tanks on top and bottom. I absolutely love these stands. I was lucky enough to get two of them off of Craigslist, and I will show you guys the other one in a second. But first, down here we have Lemon. As you can see, it's really humid in there. You guys can see her right there. Let's see if I can open this. Lemon is a albino Pac-Man frog. She is about a year old now, and she is just submerged in her eco -earth. So that is Lemon. Right here, I have all of my cricket stuff, which is pretty much Lemon's main diet, in addition to night crawlers. This is where I keep her crickets, and then I have her reptivite, her tongs, and then I have a container that I put the crickets in. Directly to the right of Moose Tank, we have Bodie. Bodie is my 10-year-old old crested gecko. I got him. He was a rescue. If you guys haven't seen his rescue video, I will put it in the description down below. On top of his cage is where I keep all of his foods. There's his rapashi and his pangeas and his mister. He's in an 18 by 18 by 24 exoterra. He is hiding right now. Otherwise, I would show him to you. So here he is. Here's little Bodie. Good boy. But his tank is sitting on top of a faux wicker three drawer chest that I also got at Target. I love these storage drawers. I think they are so good. And this one's really, really sturdy. So it's strong enough to hold his tank, which is perfect because it's the exact same dimensions. In the top drawer, I just have all of Moo, my hamster stuff, and then apparently a dinosaur sandwich container. I've been looking for this actually. Anyway. It's kind of a mess in here, but I don't really go in here that much since I do keep all of her food and stuff on top of her tank. But this is where I keep all of her extra food and treats and toys and bowls and things. 
in the next drawer, this is the turtle drawer. I do keep some Hikari Pac-Man pellets in here, which I've never used. I have some Missouri Tortoise Diet. I have a scale so I can weigh all my animals to make sure that they're all healthy. I have a can of box turtle food, which Koa absolutely hate. I have Koa's Repticalcium. I have some dried crickets and mealworms. And that's pretty much all that's in this drawer. It's mainly just a drawer for Koa. And this is the hermit crab drawer with the exception of Bodie's bowls. It mostly just has all of the hermit crab's different foods and then their dried veggies and their salt water. And that's pretty much all that's in that drawer. And then over here in the corner, I just have my old umbrella light. I don't use these anymore because I got a ring light, which works way better. So that's just where I keep those. Directly across the room on the opposite wall, I have my closet door. This is a big walk-in closet where we keep our litter boxes. And there's the doggy door for the kitty cats. On this wall, we have my hermit crabs daily care board which you can see here over here we have another dual stand that I was talking to you guys about on top is an empty 40 gallon breeder it just has eco earth in there it needs to be cleaned out and then honestly I don't know what I'm gonna do with this tank it's empty now so the possibilities are endless but but it is an empty 40 gallon breeder nothing is currently living in there then on the bottom shelf I have my hermit crab this is my hermit crab enclosure which you guys have seen many times they are in a 20 gallon long and I do keep them on the bottom shelf of this dual stand. You guys probably noticed that the bird cage is not in here currently. Whenever I get the bird cage in here it is going to go on this wall and then I will be moving this tank set up again. However since I don't have my bird yet I will be getting one soon. I am waiting to put the bird cage in the pet room until I actually get the bird. I also need to set it up and everything once that happens so the bird cage will be in here eventually. So that is pretty much it for my pet room. I think I went over everything in here. But if you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this pet room tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe down below. If you don't already follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I will put that on the screen for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this pet room tour. If there are any other videos that you guys want to see from me in my pet room, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Be kind. Bye.